campus just on the way with Aussie. So we just got back from SEMA and we wanted to give you a walkthrough on what we built with RamChop, uh, its journey on the way through. So this thing started as a stock 21 Dodge Laramie 2500 diesel. We bought it as a tow rig. Um, it's still a tow rig, even if it's current configuration. If you've been following the journey for RamChop along the way, you would have seen it go from a standard Dodge 2500 Laramie. Uh, it had a standard bed on the back. We put an RSI Smart Cap on it. We thought that was great. We put some roof racks on the top of that. We had a uh, Kabari tent up there for the longest time. That was great. This year we redid the, the whole truck and we changed it again. So we wanted to make the thing more versatile and to get what I think is the ultimate versatile truck is one truck that does multiple things that as time goes by, you can change out the truck and keep all the things and just keep using those over and over. So let me paint that a little bit better. On the back, we have the Bowen flatbed camper. We've got the garage, so our spare tires at the front. Um, on the back right now, we have the Bowen canopy and it's got a full build out inside. So we'll get in there in just a second. But we've also had the four wheel camper Hawk on the back of this thing. So we can jack this up, take it off, drop the Hawk on the top. Man, that's an awesome overland everything rig with heaters and uh, multiple beds and sinks and washers and internal showers. It's even got an internal toilet. So depending on what your journey looks like, we can change the truck to suit. So for us, this is probably gonna be our summer rig uh, in the way that we, we, we camp in the summertime because we enjoy sleeping in the tent. That's what we do. Um, so on this configuration, we have the uh, Armadillo A3. We've got the Peregrine 270 awning and inside here is all that's goodies. So let's get in there and show you what we did on the way to SEMA and uh, what it looks like now. We've just finished the build out of the, the, the bow and canopy on the back. And let's have a look what that looks like. So we're gonna start from the back and work our way forward. Actually, you know what? Let's do it the other way because the real funk's at the front. So this is a clear view power slide. This has just come through. Check this out. Latch, latch. The reason I went for the power slide is if you've got kids and I've got a nine year old, He's gonna be able to operate that with one finger. So if he needs to get into the fridge, push the button. And that's down. That's us into the fridge. Now that's pretty cool. Now while you're there, and uh, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see at the back there, so let's turn some lights on. And not only are we gonna turn the lights on, check this out. I can dim the lights, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I can dim those lights and turn them back up. So if you guys can see over the back corner there, uh, you'll see the Red Arc Red Vision Rogue system. Uh, we've got 270 amp hours of Dakota lithium battery. We have a thousand watt inverter plugged up into the roof. So that's the brain box and the internal part that makes all this stuff function. Um, on the back, we've got a water tank. We have a screen there that tells us what's going on for inputs, for outputs, as well as USB switch, uh, standard cigarette lighter button. Um, this, we call, well, Brent Bowen calls it the spice counter. Uh, I think it goes further than that. I think it's the whole pantry. So let's roll this thing out now. How is that for awesome? So all of our food, top shelf, bottom shelf, Mate, we can stack that with whatever we want. All our wiring's tucked away up inside there, so that's where our food's gonna live, but we need some storage space. But firstly, I just wanna have a little bit of a, a prep bench. So there's the prep bench. Righto, now we're talking prep bench, drawer, 
pantry, refrigerator. That's all lit up by some heretic lights. And I'll show you another little trick that we did because for you guys that get out into areas that are a bit buggy, This is one of my favorite parts. I'm gonna turn that off, I'm gonna turn the red light on. So if you're worried about your night vision, you might see that at the top there. So now I can leave that on. Uh, that's telling me that it's drawing 0.8 of an amp. So we've got 270 amp hours of battery back there. This thing's gonna go for days without any problem at all. And I can cruise around underneath my awning at night and those little no seams and the mosquitoes and stuff. They're not gonna be concerned and I'm still gonna be able to see uh, when I get back in and out. So that's the internal side of the Bowen canopy. Uh, we think it's pretty cool. We reckon it's probably the most versatile setup you're ever gonna get. And again, when I sell the truck, I can take the canopy off the back I can take the flatbed off and I can re-bolt it onto another later model of this truck and I get to keep all this cool stuff or I get a new flatbed and just match this to go on the flatbed. So versatility, it's all here. Some of the other cool stuff we've got in this truck, uh, AEV front bumper. We've got a big worn winch in behind there. Um, on the front here, you'll see four. Uh, these are the Nacho dual lights. So in this one light, I've got half of it that's amber and half of it that's white. So I can control that from the switch pod inside. I can turn the ambers on flash. I can turn them on solid or dust and still have the white lights. Up the top, you'll see another eight. So that's the Racer TM5s and there's two different varieties up the top there. Four in the middle are straight spots. The ones on the outside, you'll notice them angled out a little bit. So that gives us a big broad spread of light all around through the front. Uh, as we work our way backwards, we see we've got the Expedition Essentials Max Tracks mount. We've got some Max Tracks mounted up there. We use a special 230 adjustable bracket to give us that awesome angle. So that directs air up over our 102 liter storage box. On this side, we have the WeBoost. And on the other side, you probably can't see it, but that's the GMRS radio. So we've got communication all brought up inside there. That's mounted to a front runner rack on the front. So that puts all our storage, extra storage space. And as we're all backwards, you'll see that 230 tent and the 230 Peregrine awning. Uh, coming around the sides, and we only just put these on, and I love these things. Uh, I think they really filled out the truck really nice. Um, this is a Icon compression, heavy duty. Uh, it's a 20 inch by 10 inch wheel, and that's wrapped in a 40 by 14 and a half inch tire. So that means that the weight capacity of the wheel and tire combo meets the truck, even if we're throwing a lot of weight at it. So for you guys that ever see it at a trade show, you'll know that, again, this is our tow rig. We actually hook up our 26 foot trailer uh, and drag all our stuff to the show with the same rig. So again, there's that versatility coming back in. There's some special stuff underneath that we're not gonna get under so you can see it, but uh, we have the obligatory um, train horns to let people know that if we're hooked up to a trailer that, hey, if you haven't seen us, here we are, we're there. Uh, underneath there is a air tank that runs the Thor Lightning air hose system. So I can do all four tires at once if I wanna air up or air down. Um, Inside you've got some extra storage space and we might go across and we'll have a look at that on the other side. So a little bit hard for you guys to see and hopefully you get it all right. Um, but that's the Sidekick Tactical Molly panel. And on that we've got our, some tools, we've got our emergency kit, we've got someone to hook our radios up. There's enough space in this corner uh, to put some deaf fluid. We've got the uh, Demos shovel mounted up inside there. so. All that recovery gets in there. And you see inside there, that's the, the, the garage for a spare 40 inch tire. So it's in the middle of the truck, not at the very back. And then on the sides, just because we need more storage, there's a nice little storage space for anything else you wanna get. Now, the things that I always forget, because these are always important parts, because everyone knows this thing's a big truck. How to get in it? I'll show you. And research steps pop out. I can climb up and down inside there. 
you can kind of see in there we've got our uh, switch pro so that turns on oh, let's get the oh yeah there you go that gives you a bit of an idea on what comes on at one point a lot of light uh, other than that the only other thing inside that you're going to see is a garmin tread xl um, and that gmrs radio so that's ram shopping a little bit longer build out uh, if you've got any more questions on the build or who we put on it, you can see some of the details at Expedition Superstore because those guys have been awesome. The team at Expedition Superstore did many late nights to help us get the build done for SEMA. So guys, we absolutely appreciate you. You do not know how much. Um, and then of course it's filled with 20 zero products. So both of those guys will be able to tell you more about the truck. Uh, give us a call or see us online. Cheers.